Hey guys, welcome to another Cruise Ship Tycoon video. Um, I apologize for no, um, not Echo, but I apologize for no, how many you call it? Oh yeah, I apologize for no, uh, audio in the last tutorial. I didn't realize I had it off. Oh yeah, I was playing with the solar here on earlier, so. I'm the only person here. Huh, okay. Uh, so today we're doing a solar pelican. Um, so, they've started closed testing on fleets. Um, there's actually noticeable changes too. I mean, they didn't put this in change log, but if I go on someone else's ship, your route, the route you put for that one ship goes away and you don't see a route at all. It also freezes your fuel and power for one ship. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start off today. Um, so I'm also gonna turn music on because Yeah, so. Yeah, actually, let's make that quieter, because we don't want oh, annoying music. Is this a brand new server? It is, no way. I feel like my own server, I guess. Did I join a private server by mistake, maybe? I don't think so. I thought I just clicked play. Um, I'll look. Oh, yeah, I just clicked play, so I have my own server. Alright, so let's continue to build. I feel bad because people are always like, can I be in your video? I'm like, well, usually when I record videos, I don't, I just kind of record them. I don't plan them. Like, I wasn't actually planning to record one now. I guess I just kind of did. Alright, so. I when Pelican first came out about a year ago. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start off with making the ship solar. Yeah, so as I said, we're doing all solar stuff first. Um, and the reason we're doing that is... I don't know, I'd like to do a solar ship. I think it would be... I haven't done one. I, haven't, I don't think I've done a solar... Well... I might have, but it's been a bit ago. So... No, I'm just trying to remake all the tutorials now, because I've looked back. Some of the tutorials that I thought I just made the other day were made months ago, so I'm like, yeah, we're going to have to make, remake half of them. No, just kidding. I'm sure there's a smaller version of the whale. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put two radar masts. Oh, there, I swear there's one ship where you can actually center it. It might be one of the ten one. It might be that uh, os uh, yeah osprey, um, but I, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Oh, what? E. Okay, that's gonna be that, and then. Um, we, we need utility, so uh, let's try to line it up with these ones, so since that's there, let's put one there. I swear you used to be able to center this on Pelican. Uh, maybe it is Osprey, I don't know. I like that, um, Pelican has a tile over its bridge, but Osprey doesn't. <laughs> also, Haggy said Osprey's bridge, uh, wings are actually wide enough for a, um, uh, tile that Alan's like lazied out of or something, something like that. Um, I don't remember exactly, but yeah. So this is gonna be an all solar ship. Uh, we'll we'll leave the bow for public use. Uh, let's actually see how fast our ship will go. Oh no, delete the fuel in the engines because that just slows it down. And we better get going quick, too, because, for me, the sun's about to... I should like Pelican. I would, honestly, if I had to rate the way I like the ships, it would go Albatross, Cormorant, uh, Pelican, Mallard... Oh, no, Huron. Uh, Mallard, um, Osprey, and then Raven. That's how I would rate the ships in terms of what I like. Oh, I'm not alone anymore. So we can go a solid 16 knots with just solar panels. So that's actually uh, good. 
Um, <clears throat> I'm curious about something actually. Uh, that have I done any routes from? Okay, that we're not actually gonna do that, but. Yeah, actually, we can dock here for now. Uh, so actually, let's delete. Actually, I like where we docked. Usually, um, if you try to dock in Albatross, then the game's like, nope. All right, okay. okay. So the problem's this. I don't. I don't want to use that space. Because I do want to keep the housekeeping closets down here. So, is there a way I can fit it? For housekeeping? E. That might be a little too much. <laughs> okay, we'll I'll do it that way, I guess. Yeah, Pelican's too small to even fit a pool. So, we're not gonna put a pool in the valley, I don't think. Actually, let's double check that theory, I, but I do believe it is too small to do. And... Nope. <laughs> but I think it's like, yeah. See, if I can move it up one more tile, I'd actually like where it's at. But, um, well, let's do it. Because I, I do think... Pelican with a pool looks alright, actually. <clears throat> so... Uh, let's go ahead... So we're actually gonna delete. Oh, we're gonna delete these two. Um, I don't know. All right, can we can we cover this up at all? Can cover this. Yeah, you that doesn't work. Okay. So as you guys know, uh, the way I color my ship won't affect how this is. So this means we only have a little more room right there. Can I put a chessboard up here? Nope. Um, what is three studs? Mm, I wouldn't like where that would go. Yeah, so we're not gonna do a hot tub. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put a modular couch. Uh, and it's not for the NPCs, I mean, they can use it. But it's just for us to kind of like, you know, just kind of stay in that, I guess you could say. Okay, um... Uh, what's... Should we do Athrums? Ooh. Uh, actually, do we want to do quad suites, though? So we will actually do after him somehow. I remember I was the first one who actually did after him, because I'm like, I sent Alan Z a photo, I'm like, I'm, I've made up my own concept that I want to try. And no one was doing it at the time, because, you know, it was alpha and no one really thought about it. So then I um, then I started talking about it in the Discord server, and then everyone's like, ooh, when I get Pelican, I'm going to make after him. And I'm like, oh, nice. It's like, okay, uh, well, there goes my original idea. <laughs> So that made it out there, Atrium's also made it out there, um, I mean, I'm sure some people also thought about it too, coincidentally, but, you know, it, it's nice to see concepts out there now, um, like, I think the two, f the, like, two or three floor restaurants one and two now. Uh, another thing I will say is I think this, I don't think anyone does this spa, because, honestly, the spa is not really worth it, it's kind of a waste of space. Uh, because you, you can definitely put something better. Yeah, but I like Pelicans Aft the best for Afterms. Uh, Albatrosses is okay. It's not my favorite for Afterms, but... 
Yeah, so the tip is trying to fit batteries wherever we can fit them. And the bright side is too. I believe this is charging too. Yeah, actually, I will set it up like that. Uh, <clears throat> actually, I like the song, actually. It's, well, I, I mean, I don't hate it, but it's actually a decent song, I think. Okay, um, so... Let's, <clears throat> let's design it like that. Um do, 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 do. There's actually this one kid where Haggy's like, it'd be cool if you could make your cruise ship tag him, then Haggy actually turns around and does it. <laughs> and it's like that kid's like, I take hundred and one percent credit for the creation of cruise ship tag him. <laughs> like oh that's that's cool. But yeah, I think this. I don't think I would be in this community if they didn't have, if they didn't make cruise ship tycoon. Because I wasn't a, you know, I wasn't really retail tycoon. It's not my cup of tea. So I, yeah, I think a lot of people wouldn't actually be in the Discord server. Um, now, would well, I mean, there'd still be a lot of people, but would it be as active? Probably not. I mean, unless, depending on whatever, I mean, they probably would have made another game, so I mean, it's possible to, but it's hard to say. Okay, um, yeah, let's do that, okay. Okay, so, um, I think we can actually do something unique, too, with these, so we'll do this, yeah, we'll, we'll give that a shot, and um, we'll essentially do this on here. And then it'll, yeah, pretty explanatory. Okay, um, we're not gonna do outdoor hallways, I don't think. Hey, I just remembered something. We're only gonna have two decks to play with, so I think we should place balconies up here, and then do, and then make this deck balconies, and then make this and this entertainment and food and stuff. So yeah, let's actually do that because And as many of you might know, uh, we are going to put our uh, crew cabins up near the bridge because I think it's more efficient for the crew just to be up near the bridge because, I mean, half the crew literally is going to the bridge. So you might as well. That's how I see it anyway. Because, um, you know, you have your bridge crew who are just literally going to the bridge. Um, so, yeah. Um... Yeah, I gotta say, Pelican actually took longer to make, um, so I'm gonna say, I think I like uh, Pelican better than Osprey, because Pelican wasn't rushed, and it just feels nicer. Like, I love the front, the front of Pelican, hands down, beats Osprey's front. Osprey's front's kind of basic, and it looks rushed. That's how I see it. Uh, but I do gotta say, even then, Helmsy did a decent job on it, and, you know, he's actually... Really good builder, because he built Pelican, which he did a good job on. He built Cormorant, which is amazing. So, um, now, one thing I will say, uh, Albatross's bridge looks nice from the outside, but when you're inside actually looking, um, what I mean is when you're actually inside looking, there's all these little things in the way, and it's like, you can't see it. So I wish Haggy would have made those white things like that, to where you wouldn't have actually. But now, I think they should, do I think they should have put something in the middle here? Sure. Uh... But otherwise, I think Pelican's nicely designed. I, I mean, I enjoy Pelican's design. So, yeah. Just a little thought, I guess you could say. Um, we're also going to make this glass window, because, you know, I usually do that. I 
hope. I hope all the. I'm really hoping all the crew beds are full. They should be. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, actually, we don't have enough crew beds. So that's fine. I mean, yeah, we don't need that fourth guy anymore. But that, that makes me happy. I'm just glad. Like, I. This is. The reason I put all the crew in one area is like. Well, here's how I see it. Well, since we don't have a lot of crew yet. I mean, eight guys. Eight. I mean, not guys, but eight people. You might as well just put them all in, like, the same general area. So then I can just kind of restrict this to more, this is the staff, this is the staff's living and stuff. And honestly, I think we should put a few suites up here. This way. Oh, ye undo. Okay. Yes, we're just gonna get the balconies for up here. Uh, the reason is you don't need them, I say. I don't think there's in this city. To actually have them, so yeah. Just an opinion, though, but I don't think we need them. Okay, uh, so we're going to add an extra window there, and then this is going to be our stairs hub, I think. Um, the only downside is I was kind of wanting, I kind of had a different plan than how it actually turned out, but it's fine. Uh, I kind of wanted to keep the balcony. Should we undo that? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, actually, let's undo that real quick. Undo the place of just the whole balconies in general. Okay. Uh, no, we're gonna make those fake balconies. Uh, these don't make the best money, but um, they actually are pretty nice. Uh, and you know, all ships have a few suites, so I think we should try it. I think I'm gonna try this t uh, tutorial to actually mix up the room types a bit, because you know, usually me, it's just gonna be two by fives, all two by fives, and I'm like, it's like okay, I mean, still a cool ship, but mm. so what we're gonna do? Oh, we're actually gonna have to replace these windows. So d if you didn't add them yet, I wouldn't recommend adding them because we're gonna have to replace them anyway. Alright, uh, and actually, let's put a little bathroom here. And then, we can put a battery here, and then we can put a wall there. And boom, 100%, now it looks mirrored, so, um... Let's delete that one, so then they have a little more space. Okay, um... That looks cool. Okay. Oh, let's also get the carpet down now while I think about it. I'm glad Alan's he made these, because at first he's like, well, not all ships are going to be able to have balconies, and most of them are like, oh, come on, Alan. And so, um, no. Um, well, that's how I felt inside, I didn't actually say that, but I'm like, alright. Uh, and then, he actually did turn out, since people kept complaining, oh, we can't put the balconies on, plus that's going be me. He's like, okay. <laughs> so he actually did end up making, um, balconies for the pellet, uh, the 3 by 4 rooms, because he figured this... We're probably gonna make multiple ship like multiple ships at the time. He's like, well, I mean eventually we're gonna have 
probably more ships that aren't necessarily as wide as Albatross, so you might, so that's probably what I think he was thinking. It's just kind of like, yeah, might as well. Um, Orkatuck. So we're actually going to make that. And then um, we're also going to take marble and just coat that with marble. Because it'll help our decoration a bit. And then we're actually, since the other deck had this, we're going to put these two on the side. Just to kind of balance it out, you can say. Um, Squeeze not into that other, I think. Okay. Uh, so that is going to be our room set. Oh wait, no it's not. <laughs> Just forgot half the rooms on this side. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so this will pretty much be the room setup, you could say. I just wish we could... Oh, we can. Okay, yeah, let's place the balcony there. Uh, but we're actually going to delete that. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna... It's just gonna be obstru Yeah, obstructed, I think is what they call them. They're like this. Let's mm, put that right there. So, we'll, oh, I actually do think this song is interesting. Yeah, so it's just gonna be obstructed a bit, which is actually normal, because most ships do have obstructed balconies that you can get if you want it. And I think they do run a bit cheaper, since you're kind of missing a little bit of balcony. So what I actually do is I'm gonna put marble in here, and then... Uh, I was gonna say maybe we could do that, but then I realized they have their wall there. Okay, let's place that there, and then let's get our smaller corner wall, and then yeah, so then it creates the illusion. Okay, um, stairs. Okay, uh, so these should yeah, I was gonna say you should have shaped something out. That's nice. So this is actually different than all my other pelicans, and the reason I say that is because, A, I don't think I've done a full-blown soul. I mean, it's just a different ship, for one, because usually, the ship doesn't have the balconies on the same deck as the bridge. Um, I was just gonna start doing that with the solar ships, I figured, because I'm like, well, that would waste a lot of space to try and, yeah, so I'm like, okay. So, yeah, solar ships will be different, uh, because they're different. Um, I can actually add a porthole there for that. Actually, not there, I meant here. And then, um, can we fit a battery? Yes, we can. Okay. Then let's get it. Yeah, so we're just trying to squeeze as much stuff in there. Uh, just as much things as we can to help boost rating, power, and etc. Uh, fortunately, I think we actually have a decent amount of uh, battery, so I think we should be able to go there. Not gonna lie, when you look at the balcony railing without from here, it actually looks like a real cruise ship, so that's cool. Okay, um, and technically, <laughs> but I mean, like, it reminds me of real life, sort of. Okay, um, we're gonna use carpet and stairwells, I think. And I don't think we, yeah, it's gonna sound like, I don't think we, oof. Is that the only, oh, perfect, okay. Okay, now we're gonna go around and we're gonna cut, uh, night carpet, uh, going to make these for you. We actually might make this a lifeboat deck, I'm thinking, uh, because, yeah, I mean, why not, really? I'm gonna try something different, uh, well, something that I don't do a lot, we could say. Yeah, that handles these stairs, I believe. Okay, uh, so I think the, this deck, this deck's fully done. I believe those two are. So yeah, see, that's the bright side. When you do a solar ship, it's it's a lot quicker to make because you already you don't there's not as much to do. Um, and what I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. By that, so I'm not gonna go over it. Um, So we're gonna do it like that. Uh, let's try that. Yeah, I like how that forms. So that's how we're gonna do it.
Okay. Uh, so we're gonna put. We're gonna call my point for that. So, this is also something you don't see, so I'm hoping that one day uh, everyone will put lifeboat decks. Now, I'm hoping too, if they have a lifeboat, I'm hoping they'll be able to hang off. Or where you could like rotate it and it would create the illusion of like the Disney ships where it's like hanging up. Or just even like hanging over the side too, because I believe some ships do that. Uh, but yeah. So we're actually going to code that whole thing with... I suppose we could make that be... Yeah, actually, we're going to put little benches out here. I would do lifeboat decks more often, because um, I don't tend to put them on the ships for some reason. I don't know why, I just don't. I just don't think- I, I do think about it sometimes, but it's like, it's, it takes up a bit of space, so it's kind of like, eh. Okay, so I believe these are two, so it should line up with that one. Yeah, one day I will actually make a Disney magic. Uh, I'm planning when fleets come out, we're gonna build the Disney Cruise Line fleet on my main save. What I mean by that is we're gonna build each Disney ship. And then we're just gonna make that each a tutorial. So I'm kinda trying to hold off on... Oh wait, but I think I might use Pelican as magic or wonder though. I, it'd be like this, sort of. Yeah, actually it would be like this. Um, no, it might be Osprey actually. The only... De yeah, no. If Pelican was two decks taller, I think we could have done it. Because this... The, I, I would like the two decks there, but then I need a deck up here for the windows, and then, yeah, so that's pretty explanatory. Okay, well, let's keep going anyway. I'll try something new. Yeah, so you might be like, well, why, why are we trying it this way? Well, I just think it's nice to change up the ship designs, because, uh, you know, sometimes I'll, no, not sometimes, usually I'll keep the ship designs the same as before, so it's like, Okay, <laughs> I've kind of already built this, but uh, yeah, so that's kind of how I see it. Anyway, um, we're also going to put a few. Oh, wait, no, we're not going to do that. Okay, I'll do that one. And then we're going to make this deck and these. <sighs> okay, I don't know what we can fit. This is why I don't like lifeboat decks on Pelican. <laughs> If you ask me to come see your ship, I'm gonna say no because, you know, but I actually don't mind if you guys join while I'm recording a video and say hi YouTube or whatever you want to do. As long as it's not ruining the video, I guess, I should say. Uh, we're actually gonna leave that. Yeah, that that's also true. Sometimes I'll just ca I just won't say anything. I mean, I, I'll you guys will be like, "Hey Disney," I'm like, "Well, I just I read it, but then I don't think about replying." 
Uh, cause it's like, you know, I, I don't know, I guess I just don't think about it. Okay, um, I don't know when to talk like Stitch, actually. I'm just kinda like self-teach myself, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, this future goal, I guess. Okay, 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 yeah. It's, it's a whip. <laughs> Alright, uh, so let's continue. Um, it's also been entertainment I could preside because we're to have a pool and stuff. Uh, so we might as I think we're gonna put two movie theaters. I we might as well actually fit a bowling alley too. Yeah, cool. And we can keep the hallway. Okay. I just wish it, if it was one more, if we were doing this with Osprey, we would have been able to fit a, no. Yeah, so. Yeah, so just know if I don't reply, I do try to read it, but I sometimes just don't have an answer, so I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> so ideally, the ship should be halfway charged by the time we're finished. I think that's kind of what we're going for. Um, hmm. No, that's an efficient action. <laughs> to keep the proportionality, we're gonna do it that way. And we're also gonna... Usually don't run the bowling alley like this, but we'll do a single unit for this tutorial. Um... Yeah, Roblox is being slow chat today. Okay. Um, okay. Orkataka. Alright, okay. Yeah, it's like a, it's all in the tone, I guess. Alright, uh, let's get into So we're actually gonna put more batteries. You might be like, why do we need so many batteries? Well, actually, that's a simple answer I can give you. Um, it's not that we don't, it's not that we need them, but it's more of if you wanna. Th this, the ideal, okay, so the ideology behind this ship is it's gonna be fully sustainable. Um, I don't. Oh yeah, no, we still have room. Okay, so I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna try and make this thing uh, have a decent amount of supplies because if you're gonna be I, back in Alpha, we didn't stop at ports. We would do this basically. We would leave Newport and we would just come out here, and you we would just go out sea. And once we got to here, we'd like turn around, but we would go just to love and not. Um, or well. Because the battery would be charging while you're going like 11, 12, 13 knots. And then we would, once the battery is charged, we would go fast and then once it died, we'd go slow. So then we could gauge it and have it charge up. So that's something that I've noticed no one does anymore. Um, because you don't, it's not, you're not getting paid as well to do that, so it's like, okay. But yeah, back in Alpha, uh, it used to be, it's because the economy used to be a bit different too. Okay, um, oof, actually, now let's put that there. Okay, so, yeah, I always recommend you use this and that room of this for the engine deck. Um, hopefully this ship has a decent rating, I don't know, uh, cause we did actually lose two decks, but we'll see. Okay, uh, I was thinking we could try a little H room here. I mean, it's not gonna be big, but... Okay, it would literally be a one whole H room. No, we'll do it like that. And so, it, there, there's not gonna be anything in it, but you can, I mean, it'll, it'll oh boy, I'm just stuttering, am I? Uh, no, it'll just be a little, like, peek down the hole, just to kinda, you know. Um, and we also used to do that with Hurons, too, back in the day, uh, but I don't think anyone, I've seen a few people, but it's kinda rare to see that. Okay, uh, so we're gonna actually put, uh, doors there. Yeah, sometimes I stutter because I'm trying to talk and build. Uh, which actually, I think I'm good at multitasking because I know some people who actually just stop to uh, talk. Um, but I do gotta say, I do actually build too fast sometimes. I, I do agree with that. Uh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Let's put it there. Yeah, let's put it here. So you have a little nice little atrium just to kind of look down into, I guess. 
All right. Well, the lifeboat deck. You know, I, I, I hope it handles the entertainment, but we'll see. Um, we'll see. So we're also gonna make a little demarcation point, I do think, um, which will pretty much be this to. So we'll make a little lobby here. Um, okay. Yeah, I already, as I said, I already read his comment. It's just I don't think about replying. Uh, but sometimes if I don't reply, they actually do leave. Uh, you guys will leave the game. Uh, Great does it a lot. If I. It's like, I'm AFK for a minute because I'm doing something else, and then I go back, and he's gone. I'm like, okay, great, coming. And I'm like, oh, you're gone, okay. Uh, because it's just, he doesn't, you, sometimes you guys just don't stick around long enough, I think. Um, but, it is what it is. Um, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm curious to see if this thing's got to hold a decent amount of charge. I mean, you have the engine room, but then we also have crammed a lot of it. Here, actually, we're not going to buy it necessarily, but let's look. <clears throat> so we're going to have about 9-ish megawatts. Well, that's pretty good for a ship this size. Because remember, Pelican won't guzzle fuel as quickly, if I believe correctly. Uh, because, oh yes, for once this centers out. Okay, that actually works perfectly. Yeah, so we'll have a little de-embarkation point here. Um, <clears throat> just kind of like on your Disney ship, or Car Royal Caribbean ship, I should say. Um, you, you know, you'll have a... It's not like a full-blown atrium, like, when you board the Disney ship the first time, but it's more, uh, it's more of a... Um, like, when you get to Castaway K, <clears throat> and there's this nice little lobby thing you go out. Uh, now, you can't look down into it, I guess. From, but, you know... We're gonna kind of keep that uh, Kai. We're gonna try and keep it nice. Do, 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 do. So one ramp will be for the embarkation, and one will be for e embarkation. Now, one thing I will say. Actually, let's do a multi-sided. I think that'll work better, actually. Just to kind of... Oh, no. Because then you can use one and not use the other if you want. Okay. Uh, let's actually move these two back. Because you're not always going to be docking on one side or the other, so... Okay. Uh, that'll finish that. Um, we can make a little pod... Just like a little waiting pod, uh, where we'll put couches. Okay, uh, then we're just gonna kind of slap these in there. Um, yeah, alright, uh, if this, uh, I was hoping it was three tiles, dang it. Um, let's use the doorways. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm like thinking of what else I can use. I guess magically, I'm like, hmm. Is it always? All right. Uh, we're actually gonna pop a small bathroom in there because there's been times where you're like, oh boy, I need to use the bathroom, and then you gotta go like all the way back upstairs. <laughs> so it's like just for just from personal experiences. Um, I, gotta, I keep thinking in mind what I oh yeah, see, Great's gonna join. He's gonna say something. I won't reply, and then I'll be like, Phew, no, I'm just kidding. It's fine. All right. Um, well, not kidding, but you know, it's fine. All right. Uh, okay. Uh. Does this have... Yeah, it already does, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, so on one side, we're gonna have food. On one side, we're gonna have tables. Uh, this is probably gonna be food. Tables are probably gonna be over there. And actually, part of this might be bathrooms. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, just how the crowding goes, I guess. Okay. Um, I don't... Can we center this? Yeah, we can, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of put that there. Um, Okay, so that's a nice little atrium lobby thing. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Um. 
Okay, uh, that's actually going to include that area. So we're just gonna, yeah, that'll solve that. And then, and we're just gonna make this whole area um, marble because marble A gives better rating and B an actual X max. Okay, um, okay, okay, actually that sounds okay. Alright, uh, mm, yeah, okay, uh, we'll leave that there, I guess. Alright, um, mm -hmm. do I want to put a little place for just, I'm trying to think. Ooh, 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 ooh. yeah, retail. Put a trade of retail tycoon on the ship. <laughs> Alright, and then, and then we're going to put that there. I wonder if that kid who's like always oh, playing retail tycoon just joins cruise ship tycoon and starts complaining like I complain about retail tycoon. <laughs> All right, um, actually, retail I like retail tycoon, but it's just not my cup of tea. I think it's a good game. It's just not my cup of tea, you know. Uh, and actually, we're gonna put another supplies chest thing in here. Not chest, you know what I mean. Uh, just because, why not? And now we're gonna have to. Gonna have to marbleize the whole area, uh, but we're actually not gonna marbleize. Um, we'll make actually those four will be for batteries. This will be the whole thing. Yeah. So you see how many batteries we've actually been able to cram in. You could say. Okay. Um, so let's take this. Let's make that. Finish this up in like 14 minutes. That's my problem. And then I can upload it and then I can. Because I, I do want to post it later, but if I take too long on this, I won't be able to do that. Okay. Um. Alright. I'll conclude that area. Um. Uh, so now we need tables, actually. I'll show. How many people do we have in this ship here? I'll do that table. I want to know how many guys we have. People, my guys, people. Uh, 98, okay. Um, 98 divided by 4, that's also how many tables we need. We need 24.5, so we need 24 big tables and 7, so that's 7. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 40, 60, 80, okay. Uh, and that's 88. Okay, yeah, that'll take care of tables. Uh, then if we can put a few bathrooms over here too, that'll be nice. We're actually gonna put a little streak of carpet, so uh, just to kind of highlight, highlight where the main path is at. Uh, now we're gonna try and fit a bathroom back here. Oof, my bad. Okay. Um, can we actually fit two? We can't. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna. But yeah, that'll. That should hopefully take care of basic needs. Um, I don't know. Find out. Uh, but I think we have a decent amount of bathrooms, and also the more batteries we can do. Okay. So that'll make one whole battery. Okay. Uh, so then we're gonna also put this here, and then we're gonna put two. And that'll take care of the bathrooms. Alright, let's go ahead and put our portholes in now. I think that's an important step. Sure, we could just drag the whole thing, but that's not really... Let's make sure that's lining up too. If it is. Okay. Okay, well... I can only check that it's lining up. And it is, uh, we might actually change those from portals to. We might actually change those from portals to. I'm thinking. Um, because. Especially I like portals. <laughs> Alright, well, I believe that finishes this deck off. So, we're done with that deck. Alright, and I think this deck we're almost done with too. So, we're actually gonna.
Instead of pre-built ships, I hope Haggy and um, Haggy would be like, Alright, you can pre-build ships, and then we'll make a pre-built ship, and you really can buy pre-built ships. I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> no, this would definitely make it on there. I think it's a cool solar ship. Uh, but that's, again, that's kind of not what Cruise Ship Tycoon is. Uh, to an extent. Okay, so we do have those there. Um... Actually, we're gonna change that out anyway, but, um, let's... Yeah. We're gonna create a nice little downslope ramp. Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay. Uh, let's put a portal, actually. I think a portal would be better. Uh, so that's an obstructed balcony, um, as I was talking about earlier. Uh, yeah, actually that works. So we're going to put this here, and then we're actually just gonna again create that nice down one slope. And I'm gonna double check that we have that correctly. And also, I think we should leave um, the fence there, so we're actually gonna add another fence. And I, because th I th mean, yeah, it's, um, actually, no, let's just add these. Here we go, okay, let's paint this ship. It's gonna be this white, and then this is gonna be. Uh, the, both of them are actually going to be this color. Alright, um, and we're going to name this, uh, yeah, let's call it. I, I don't really have a name for this ship, so, um, let's actually try and get my big head in here. <laughs> uh, no, well, yeah, why not? Okay, <laughs> great. I don't want to get great in the thumb. I don't like usernames in this. Okay. There we go. Solar Pelican 3. Let's say. So we're gonna call it uh, Solar Pelican 38 to 20. Okay. Uh, let's load the passengers on just to see how the ratings are. We also need to load up supplies, or else they're gonna give us a false rating. And. Dang it. Okay. Does Great actually have the yellow hood? Uh oh. This is it like UGC? Yep. I'm like a beacon. You can see my head from like any ship. <laughs> Uh, no, they made a red version of this as actual head, but I think this is more of a... Yeah, I was gonna say, give the ratings a few seconds. Okay, what's our rating at? 3.9? Oh, yo, let's go. Here, let's turn the music off. I can look. Okay, that's the wrong. Alright, that's us. Yo, two albatrosses? Fleet to be like it. <laughs> I actually think this would be a cool fleet to have, too. <laughs> you got a mallard in there. Yes, yeah, so what can we do to fix this as well? Let's evaluate, evaluate their problems. Um, I don't... Hmm, that's not really effective. Okay. Uh, let's actually put two doors. Yeah, put two doors there. Uh, just so they can get out there more easily. Um, what's, what, what do they want more? Entertainment. Well, we actually have decent entertainment. Oh, those theaters are mobbed. It's like Endgame just came in. <laughs> nope. Alright, I'm screenshotting that.
Yeah, Alright, they finished endgame. <laughs> Oh, what? I can't get to anything. Why can't she wait? Oh, that's cool. So they're all waiting to disembark, I guess. Alright, um, no. We're gonna get rid of some rooms. And then we're gonna replace them with bathrooms. I don't really like doing that, but... Kinda have to. Okay. Uh, let's just kinda scrap these ones. I... Th uh, because this will A, help fix crowdedness, hopefully, but B, it eliminates some of the crowd. Okay, uh, we're just gonna kind of cover that. We'll pretend it's there. Also, let's actually add a few more lifeboats. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much it would actually take to, uh, so we might just call it three stars. I mean... Because in the end results, the speed's what matters, and if the speed's good and it makes good money, well, good ship. Okay. Uh, it doesn't help because we had to get rid of a few decks. Um, which I think also, and the fact that we tried a lifeboat deck, yeah, I don't know how much that helps. Uh, but let's actually reboard them here, because. Well, I didn't want to go over there, but. Okay. Um. Let's actually test the speed. I oh come on, really? All right. Can I get out without hitting the albatross and the pelican? I mean, and the mallard. I wish I kind of like when two albatross. I wish they would just like, you know what? It's like screw that part. Just make it one solid piece. All right. So let's test speed. If it's forty-five knots. <laughs> speed. I am speed. Alright. Well, we're gonna wrap up the tutorial, and I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, you guys can try to make this ship have a better rating. Uh, all you have to- actually, let's get over to Orion first. But all you'll have to do is remove, like- here, actually, why don't we do it now? Um, we'll just remove two rooms and add. Because, again, that eliminates crowdedness. Will we lose a few money? Yeah, not really, because uh, the reason is this, actually. Uh, we're also going to place portals here. Uh, actually, no. Let's... Yeah, actually, yes. Let's place portals. Uh, but... <sighs> okay. Um, so we're actually going to try it. Also wasn't good. Okay. Uh, whatever. Um. And then we'll just kind of put a random door. Okay. Um, can we get power? Maybe. Um, oh. Okay. Uh, and then can we get flooring? Yeah. Can. Okay. Um, okay. And then can we get carpet? Probably. Can we get two walls? Yeah, I thought we were going to be going somewhere, but I guess we're not, because, well, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, we just crashed into a rock, my bad. <laughs> uh, it's fine, don't worry. We can leave a little space too. Okay, uh. Shouldn't talk us. Okay. Uh, unload them. 3.8. Load them. Oh, I didn't see how much that made. Alright. Well, we're going to call that the video, I guess. Um, I was hoping it was gonna get four stars, but uh, it's pretty close. And again, you just, if you remove like four rooms up here, and just add more, but you, you're likely gonna be able, and I don't know why there's complaints, but you're likely gonna be able to fix it. Um, but again, since this ship goes so fast, I don't know if it'll be necessarily a problem. Uh, but yeah, actually, let's, I mean, cause this thing's going 45 knots, so it should make 300 to 400k. 
Uh, well, no, I'm not gonna stand by that. But if by a limb, if you're going here, 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 you, my albatross makes 900k, and it's a solar albatross, and it goes the same speed as this. So, you might make 200 to 400. Don't quote me on that. But if you do do here, um, here, 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 with autopilot running, you might. Alright, uh, we're gonna call that the video, and we'll see you all next time. Oh, that's almost four. Yeah, so just remove, like, two or two rooms and add some bathrooms, and you'll likely be able to fix it. Uh, but it is what it is, um, and we'll see you all in the next video, and goodbye.